Hey guys, ZTA Prime back here again with the $300 Motile laptop from Walmart. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you might remember this little laptop here. I've done a full review and I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in checking that out. But basically what we have here is a $300 performance laptop powered by the Ryzen 3500U APU backed by Vega 8 graphics. Now this does come pre-installed with 8GB of RAM and a 256GB M.2 SSD, but unfortunately the RAM is only running in single channel, and if you know anything about these Ryzen APUs, running this thing in dual channel would have made it a whole nother machine. But unfortunately we can't do that because there's only a single slot, and I personally want to increase the GPU capabilities of this little laptop, so I'm going to be adding an external GPU. This is actually an ASRock RX 590 8 gigabyte model, but we just can't plug it into the side of the laptop, and this laptop doesn't support Thunderbolt, so we got to go about it a little differently. Now this is something I've never personally attempted on a laptop, but I've done it to single board computers several times. I got a ton of videos on my channel about it, and I'm going to be going about this the same way I do with single board computers. There is a free M.2 slot inside of this PC. There's a single SSD and there's room to add another one. So I've purchased another M.2 to PCIe X16 adapter. We're going to be connecting this desktop GPU to the laptop over an M.2 slot. Now one of the big downsides about this is the GPU is still going to need power, so I'll have to use an external power supply. It takes an 8 pin here, and we'll also have to power the 4 pin connector on the PCIe X16 slot. Alright, so here's how it's going to go down. Inside of this laptop, there are two M.2 slots. One's already populated with the 256GB SSD, but we have a free one here. We also have 8 gigs of RAM from the factory, but I've upgraded this to a 16 gig stick. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this M.2 to PCIe X16 adapter and place it right here in one of the free M.2 slots. So now that I have the adapter installed, I'm just going to turn the laptop over. Now obviously this isn't an everyday use case scenario situation. This is more of an experiment. I really wanted to see if this would work. So now that we have the M.2 adapter in place, we can actually plug the GPU directly into this slot here. But since I've done a lot of testing in the past on single board computers with external GPUs, I do have a little dock that I can use. This is pretty much no more than a PCI X16 extender. It'll just allow me to place the GPU in here so it's not laying down on the desk. Now we're going to have to add power to the adapter and the GPU. We got a little 4 pin that'll go to the adapter. And 8 pin for the GPU itself. So I'm not 100% if there's any way to backfeed the video signal from the GPU to the internal screen, so I'll be using an external screen connected over HDMI from the external GPU. So before we get started here, I do want to mention that yes, this is convoluted, nobody's going to do this, and that's why I did it. I wanted to see if this would really work. Final check before I get started here, have the power supply, we got power going to the GPU and the adapter, the adapter is plugged into the M.2 slot on the Motile laptop. Video from the RX 590 is going to be going to my external monitor because I can't backfeed it into the monitor on the laptop itself. All that's left to do is see if this really works. I need to power on my little portable monitor here and press the power on the laptop. The fans on the RX 590 just kicked on. That's a really good sign and we're getting some type of signal to my external monitor. There we have it. We're now getting signal from the laptop through the GPU to this external monitor. So if everything's working correctly here, we should see the RX 590 show up in the task manager. So here it is, the Ryzen 5 3500U. This is the mobile processor that's in the laptop itself. And the RX 590 is showing up. This is the eight gigabyte model. So far, so good. Everything's looking like it is working, but I really need to get into some testing. All right, so here we go. It seems that the RX 590 is working pretty decently with this laptop so far, but I do need to get into some more testing. As you can see, we have that Ryzen 5 3500U. This is the mobile processor in the laptop itself. Base clock, 2.1 gigahertz, boost, 3.7. 16 gigabytes of DDR4, 2400 megahertz RAM, and the Radeon RX 590 with eight gigs of VRAM. 
Now the one thing I really wanted to test here was what this is really running at through that M.2, whether it be X4 speeds or X2. I got a feeling it's X2, and I can test it here. So we're not running at PCIe X4 speeds, we're running at PCIe X2 speeds, which will definitely limit the performance of this RX 590. I was really hoping that the extra slot in this laptop was running at X4 speeds, but unfortunately it's not. But I can tell you right now that this GPU is adding some substantial performance to this laptop. The first thing I did was run a quick TimeSpy benchmark. Over on the left hand side, we have the laptop with no external GPU. Total score 683, graphics score was 604, CPU score 2687, and if we take a look here, it's only better than 1% of all other results. With the external RX 590, we got a big jump in performance here. Overall score 4366, graphics score 4809, CPU score 2870, and we're now better than 31% of all other results, so we're definitely getting some performance gains from this GPU. But before I get too excited, I really need to get into some real-world game testing. So first up, we're starting out kind of light here. This is CSGO, high settings, 1080p. The RX 590 averaged around 135 to 137 FPS. Remember, 1080p, high settings. When I previously tested this game with the built-in Vega 8 graphics and no external GPU, we were doing 82 FPS, medium settings, 720p. With Project Cars 2, we got a big jump in performance. We're averaging around 84 FPS with mixed high-medium settings at 1080p, but without the external GPU, this laptop was struggling to hit 30 FPS, medium settings, 720p. So we got a big jump in performance with Project Cars 2. So with GTA 5, it was a little weird with this GPU connected to the laptop. I was personally expecting better performance out of normal settings 1080p with the RX 590, but I only averaged around 69 FPS, and in some areas it was going as low as 53 FPS. And I attribute this to that low bandwidth through the X2 slot that we're using. But we did get a gain in performance because the stock laptop without an external GPU averaged around 42 FPS at 720p, normal settings. I had a pretty big jump in performance with Doom. Here we have the RX 590 high settings 1080p with the Vulcan back end. We're averaging around 105 FPS, but I do see it jump up to around 135 sometimes. And on the stock laptop without an external GPU, medium settings 720p, we were getting around 40 FPS. Rocket League was kind of all over the place with this setup. When I first started the game up with these same settings here, we're at high settings, 1080p. I was getting around 70 FPS, but I thought something was wrong, so I restarted the game, and the average jumped up to around 175, so something's definitely going on with this little combination here. Unfortunately, with these last two games you're about to see, I never tested it on the stock setup. I only tested it with the RX 590 attached. Here's Dauntless, 1080p, high settings. We're getting an average of around 86 to 87, which is pretty good. And you can always turn V-Sync on and just have it locked at 60. This game will be fully playable. And the final game I tested was Red Dead Redemption 2, medium settings, 1080p, 
we're getting an average of 60 FPS. Now I don't have V-Sync on, it's just going to around 60 to 61. That's all I can get out of this setup. But I was actually pretty surprised that we could hit 60 FPS with this combination. Now I know that the RX 590 in a standard PCIe X16 slot will do 60, but with this thing connected over an M.2 slot, I think it's doing a pretty good job. So in the end, it's definitely possible to connect an external GPU to this laptop using that free M.2 slot, but is it really worth it? In my opinion, I really don't think it is. Personally, I love experiments like this, but this isn't something that I do every single day. Now, if that M.2 slot was running at X4 speeds, we would have seen better performance in everything we tested, but unfortunately, it's only X2. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I've been wanting to do this for a little while. I've done it with single board computers in the past, and it worked out really well. And looking at the performance gains we got here, it did help a lot. If you have any questions, or if you want to see anything else running on this laptop with the external GPU, just let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.